Hi guys, it's Beth and Morgan. And today we're sharing our experience of how we got upgraded to the Vamps World Pit tickets during their tour. Okay, so to start with, we got to the arena. It was the Genting Arena in Birmingham. And we sat down and, you know, Lauren's doing her dancing to 21 Pilots. <laughs> and uh, Shawn Mendes came on in the 1975. And then the first act to come on was Hometown. Like, one of our favourite bands. And we didn't get to watch them, did we, Morgan? No. Because this is what happened. Um, so we were stood up, as you know, you're allowed to stand up at a concert, doesn't really matter where you are, mm, you're allowed to stand up, even set on the ticket, it yeah. said, people around you may stand, and this woman behind us, um, screamed at us for ten minutes, saying that we needed to sit down, we didn't know her, yeah, because apparently you're supposed to sit at a concert, you're supposed to sit, and, no. So, first of all, we went and Morgan went and told this woman, are we allowed to sit at a con stand at a concert? The woman goes, yeah, of course you are. Mm -hmm. We sat back down. I told her that the woman was having a go at us, and she went and talked to the um, woman, and she was like, they are allowed to stand up. So, we stood back up. Mm -hmm. Hometown of playing the night we met. I'm like, oh my god, it's Keen and Dale. <laughs> and... We got told off again by this woman. She was two rows behind us. There was no one in the row behind us. And you know, it's tiered anyway, so yeah. she could see over us. Yeah, and she was with her little kids, and it was really annoying us. And me and Lauren were like, I don't want to sit here. So me and Lauren went down three rows and stood up, and then no one was bothering because we stood sat with these other girls, didn't we? And they, they got moved to the front as well, but for a different reason. And then this man comes over to us. Are you okay now? Are they still having a go at you? And we said no, but they're giving us evils and like we don't feel like comfortable and we here. swear they kind of sprayed some water at us at some point. Yeah. Because we felt something like hit the back of us and we didn't know where it came from. Yeah. So this man said, wait a minute, I'm going to see if I can move you towards the front. He comes back. He's like, come with me. He takes us behind like this door thing in Genton Arena at the, right at the back. And he gives us the wild pit tickets, and we're like, what the hell's going on? We never expected to be moved. And we then the man that gave us the wild pit it's like wristbands. Um, yeah. They were pink. Oh, they're so pretty. No, actually, they weren't. I can't remember. They yeah, were they, pink, they had I pink think. stars. And yeah. They lit up. Yeah. They had, like, glow in the dark. And the man was like, it's not fair that she's ruining your fun. So, we're going to give you these. Yeah, and he's being really nice about it. Bearing in mind, we paid £9.50 for our tickets. And to go in the wild pit was going to be £100 each. That's me £300 instead of 30 quid that we paid. And we were supposed to sit in block A, YG247. This is my ticket anyway. Mm. She was in 248 and Lauren was in 246. And then, we start, then he took us to the front and the man was like, can I see your wristbands? And he let us in. And then by this time, hometown had gone off stage. So we didn't really get to see hometown at all, and I'm really upset. I missed upset the whole of that. hometown. Oh, I nearly cried. I cried from joy. <laughs> yeah. And then we all just stood in there, and like me, and Morgan, and I were like, "Oh my god, this is actually happening. This is actually happening." They were so close, and hometown were then behind us, dancing and taking videos of us, which was a bit weird. We do know hometown, by the way. That's just just been out there, and then Conor Maynard came on stage, and he was so good, weren't he? Oh my. God. It was, oh, it was so it good. Was, oh my god. And then after Conor Mayna, me and Morgan went out and got these lanyard things while Lauren stopped with all our bags so we could stay like relatively close to the front barrier. And then the tie came on stage. They were really good. But Levi oh. didn't come over to our side at all and I was really upset because no. Levi's my favourite. They kind of all stayed in their own areas a bit. Yeah. I think, that's, I think they're supposed to, though. I don't think they're actually allowed to go down the whole of the ramp stage. Like the fire sauce never were with One Direction stage, you're allowed to go down it. Why? I don't know. And then they went off stage, and we were, I think we went half an hour, and then the ramps came on. Their intro was like 10 minutes long, can you remember? Oh, yeah. It was going on and on, and we were like, oh my god, please. Just And they stop. came on, and they're so good live. I never, really, really good. Never imagined them to be that good live ever. Mm. And at this. I didn't really like Brad that much, but at the concert, he like totally like changed my opinion on him, and I fell in love with Tristan. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked Connor ever since like Can We Dance video came out and they got together. I've always liked Connor because I know like, I have a thing with bassists. I'm sorry about the Firefest t-shirt, by the way. <laughs> yeah, not not a good thing to wear in a dance video. And 
Yeah, I found them with Tristan, and when he did his like, can you remember his drum solo thing the other end of the stage? That was really good. Um, fun. it took me two minutes to realise where he actually was. <laughs> I was looking at the screen in front, and I was like, I can't find him. Yeah. And then I turned round, and I was like, I've been facing the wrong way the whole time. And then we saw a couple of other people we know know from Twitter and that they were in our wow pit, and then the girls that w- moved down originally. We saw they, them. Yeah, they saw us and they were like, oh my gosh, how did you get here? And, and then we had to explain the whole thing. Why to someone them. complained? And yeah, I'm actually really glad Morgan complained because we got. I'm we were right back the room. I mean, right, right, right. Right back. back. But we had a really good view because it was on a slope and the stage wasn't that far away, was no, it? No, the, the stage was really long and it came out into a long section yeah. and we was able to like see that long section really well. But, you know, people complained so we got moved. And I think... I hope they saw us go down to the front. Oh, they did. <laughs> and I hope they're so bad about it. I feel bad because there were some really little kids there and they looked like they were going to cry the whole time. Yeah, in the wild pit. Some, like, family had brought their kids wild pit tickets and... They spent the whole yeah. time almost in tears. They did. I think it was too loud for them, though. Probably. I couldn't stand a concert that loud when I was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> and then every couple of songs, they were all throwing their guitar picks into our well pit, and no one found any of them. None. And then there was, I don't like, know where they went. There was a ton of confetti that came out at the end. I actually like, have some of the confetti yeah, I've, here. I've got a jar full of them. <laughs> well, I have confetti from bag. Five Sauce as well. Wait, is this from... No, this is from the Vamps, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. here's some of the confetti. It was like, really pretty. To drop in it, and it was oh the video of it. If I still have the video, I will put it at the end of this clip. But mm. it was so pretty. Yeah, and then of course the pics got lost in the confetti, and then you weren't really allowed like to stay at the end because the security was trying to by get way, everyone out. If you're old fashioned, by the word pics will mean plectrums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's how, like basically how we got moved to the front because I saw so many people ask us on our wild pit video because you all saw us sat right at the back of the arena and then all of a sudden we were, we're at like the front and we needed up, to explain having so much fun yeah and we still can't believe I'm it so actually I'm so glad happened. because we got to dance so much and there was so much room like yeah. they weren't full at all no they weren't unlike fire sauce we couldn't even move could no. we in oh, the so pit. squished yeah. so squished. Anyway, I'm so glad that happened. Morgan's got her lanyard and ticket and confetti at home. at home. And I've got the wristband somewhere. I have a box of everything, like, from concerts and hotels and stuff. But I can't find it. So, you know. Yeah, lose always keep that stuff. Yeah. Always. If you throw it out, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Claire, it's never a video, because it could probably sell, like, in years to come. Mm. Anyway, thank you for watching how story... Also, Good we're, we're so close to 1,000 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. I am begging you. We can't <laughs> wait to get to 1,000. No, we're we so can't. excited. So excited. And, and if, you, you never know, we might do a giveaway at some point. And if someone complains at a concert because you stood up, make sure you tell the security guard and keep Anyone, bugging them. you know, keep going to them because they know that you're there to have a good time and they won't let someone ruin it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.